sad day. I've got stock tires and drifting is gonna be kind of dangerous. So it's Christmas and I've got a little Christmas special. We've got my girls 2014 Overland Grand Cherokee and I've done some modifications for her on this bad boy already. We've got the black fog bezel here. I did the black grill rings and then this is the altitude center and then I did the black badges for her also. I got her the black mirrors. We took off the Grand Cherokee thing and I put the 345 Hemi. And then we got the black tail light bezels with also this trim piece in black. And I did this in black also. So I'm trying to black out, give this a stormtrooper look, kind of match match our cars together because we're we're cute like that. The wheels are gonna be the next big thing we do, but today we're gonna get rid of these chrome door handles. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm in no way trying to take anything away from anyone who's already covered this stuff, but there's some great information on Jeep Garage. Dot com. It's a Jeep forum if you guys aren't familiar with it. I've uh, had four Grand Cherokees in the past. I had two WK2s, um, a WJ, an XJ. I've, I've had a, like quite the little uh, run with Jeeps growing up, but now I'm in the Super Guru community. So if you guys are following me on that, uh, check out tons of my videos with that, please. But today, running through how to get these bad boys onto the Oberlin Grand Cherokee. It's gonna be pretty straightforward, just gonna take some time to disassemble the door panels. And I'm just following the instructions that are on the Jeep Garage deal, but I'm gonna relay that information for you in a video. So let's get started. Number one, and the most important thing you need to do first before you even begin this job. Coffee. To get this going so here's what you do first thing open that little door and there's a seven millimeter this handle you like hold it open huh. and that pops right out and you got a 10 mil and then just a phillips so remove those three first and then i'll show you what's next next thing just kind of get a little pry bar. Oh, these are thinner one. And these just come up real easy. So just disconnect this for now. We're going to actually reconnect it in a second once we lower the window. There's a bunch of pop ups on these do doors. So what you want to do is just take your time. Use one of these guys. Just work your way around slowly. So then push your little lock down, slide it out, and then the handle in here is going to slide right through and fall down. Here's your controls. And then in the corner here, there's one clip holding it all together. When it clips off, your door panel is free. This thing is pop off this piece. Sweet. And then you're going to get a torque drive. And I think the size on this is. 
T20, and you're gonna take off your door speaker. There's four of them. Let me jump over. So you got four T20s, pop that off real quick. Come up, you got one clip here, pop that out, speaker's free. So next, get your car on, because we have to lower the window. So reconnect this control, whoops, and bring it down, and you're gonna see these weird little clips in here. It's holding the glass in place, and what you wanna do is, Bring it down to here. Oh, a little too far. There we go. And you're gonna see through that hole, there's like this plastic piece there that kind of clips in and it's holding this in place. I'm gonna pop that out using um, like a pick or a flathead. Like I'm gonna push against this and pop the window out. And then this little door right here, pop this little door open. And the other one's in here. Oh, I think I just, <laughs> oh man, careful, it's like sharp around that edge. Uh, you're gonna uh, line up with this hole and push it in there and move that up. So um, I'm gonna charge my GoPro real quick because I wanna show you guys how to knock that out. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Flathead through that hole push back on the plastic piece. As I do that, I'm push up on the glass. Oh, yeah, it was loose, cool. So it's loose there. Let me move this over here. Oh, this can take some, uh, <laughs> some work. There's a hole in there. That's loose. Let me go back to this hole. Cool. See? And now, the glass is loose and I'm just going to slide it out. Ooh. And go put it somewhere safe. Actually, I'm just gonna put it in the back seat. Okay, now we can uh, move on. So the next thing is you're gonna tackle these 10 millimeter bolts all the way around and then we're gonna undo some of these wires. Okay, the next thing, there is three torque bits on this side that are bolts, <laughs> T27 this time. Again, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that, but T27, gonna knock these out. This is just holding the latch mechanism in place, which you need to loosen to eventually move this and get to the handle itself. And I've, of course, on the Jeep forum, there's other ways to do this. Some guys got some weird long tools and stuff, but I just don't want to have to hassle with like, whoa, if, if I drop a bolt, it's going to go inside the inside of the door and I won't be able to retrieve it. So this is just a little easier. Let me show you this. There's two green ones, one down there, one up there, and then this white one over here. You're gonna un just like loosen those up and it's the same torque bit. Just put it in there. And turn it, see it's loose. Turn it loose and come back over here. Turn it loose. And now this whole front piece is 
ready to come forward and we should be able to squeeze our arm in here and get all the bolts that are actually move this thing out of the way Let's take that little door off and inside there are the first two that we want to get to they're in there and that's the size for this that i'm using five sixteenths and there's three there's two in there and then the other one is up in here somewhere it's another five sixteenths so let's get after it can you all see those there they are they're deep in there those two so i'm just going to use my extension and knock those two out Fell. Unfortunately, yeah, the nice thing is you can just reach your hand in here, they fall, pull them out. So, next thing oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, I used this short. So, scratch it. This time we're gonna go. That one is up the right. Can't really see it. So the next one is like right there. I'm going to set this back, loosen it up. Okay, next thing you want to do, reach your hand in here. And there's this mechanism here. It's a little plastic purple clip. You want to push up and away from it. You probably need two hands, but you're going to slide this purple clip up. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes so you guys can really see what's going on behind the door. So, this is where the cable, little like cable goes at. That's how the door opens, is the latch. And you'll see what you're going to have to try to do. Is pop off this yellow thing or purple in some instances and then it slides out it's literally the same shape as this allen wrench so you want to keep this up when you're putting them in slide it in and then snap it on and then it'll be able to open like when you pull that it does the latch now for removing it this thing pops up you slide out, pop this thing, which is the hardest thing. That's why I was using one of these things in here to kind of help pop that up. But when you're removing the handle and you're pulling it out, from the inside you want to pull this down and it'll slide out easier like this. And you won't actually mess up the outside of your paint here. Like a lot of guys on the Jeep forum were saying they were scratching stuff up. And it's probably because they weren't seeing this portion of it. So they were kept doing this and they were scuffing up their paint. So if you just do that, you get it all in one simple motion. And then it just slides out. Now the reverse, you just slide it back in. Easy peasy, and as it comes down here, what you do is put the plastic piece through first, and then push this little thing down in there. And if you got a hand on the inside, you can kind of help hold it down, and you'll get it all in there. No scuffs, no problems. So, just review that, guys. This is honestly the hardest part is lining this up, or at least it was for me, getting my fingers in there and then clipping that in and unclipping it and then real quick reverse grab the top of this piece push it down with your thumb and slide it out don't scuff your paint slide this into there to like loosen it and then you should be able to you don't need two hands though again like you slide your screwdriver in there and then pull it apart. Wait a second. So yeah, once you slide it 
your screwdriver in there, you will be able to get it off with your left hand, screwdriver in the right hand. And now, through here, pushed it up, and then I'm going to bring my other hand down here and grab it. And it all slides out. There it is. Alright, next, get your new handle, and it's going to slide in to there. And you're going to bring this over here. What you want to do is guide the plastic piece in first, and then push this guy in next, the little metal piece. And the whole mechanism is in there. And then what we got to do is reverse what we did right now with the latch. Inside there, like that, it slides in, and then you just clip it back on. Now, what we can do is bolt it back together. So we're going to do the two bolts through here again, and then the one hard to reach bolt in there, and we're done. So what I'm going to do is get the extension and just hand guide these bolts in. Like hand thread it at first. I'm going to just get my hand in there and hand thread it and then tighten it up. So basically line these up straight. Go to this green one, lock it. Go to the white one, lock it. And now let's go get the window, put it back in. And we can do all these 10 mils too. Tricky, tricky, tricky. So 90 degree angle helps. And you're going to guide it into those little clips. Oh, I think that like popped in by itself. I didn't have to do anything. That's perfect. So just clipped in. Important feature here. Looks like everything still works. We're good to go. Next, put this piece back on. It's going on super easy. Easier than it is to take it off. And then we're going to guide the door panel back on. Put your clips back in and just take your time with this. Put the door latch through here, to the top, and I start at the bottom and really just line up every little clip and take your time. My camera might die while I'm doing this, but this is the first side. Yeah, that's there. So that's probably the hardest part, honestly. I'm going to do this 10 mil bolt real quick. But yeah, honestly, that's probably the hardest part. the seven mil back. <laughs> Side's done. So let's do the rear door now. Pretty sweet deal for y'all. 
I get to struggle with one side and then show you how to do it properly. So here we go. This side is pretty straightforward. Same kind of thing to start with. Pop the little cap down here. You got a seven mil in there. Swing this open, hold it open. You have 10 mil and, whoops, 10 mil and a Phillips in there. Go after those. This thing again, just be careful. Comes up, unclip it. There it is. You don't have to roll down the window for this one. So much easier. And now, this fun part again. Same exact stuff on this side, guys. So when you open this up, your handle here, it's gonna slide through. Whoops, sorry. this handle slides out and then one clip right there whoa <laughs> and it's off so I have some exciting news for this side we just need to remove the speaker and there's just three of the torque holding that down and everything else stays in place we can be able to get everything through this door remove this little cap again Whoop. And that's where the bolts are in there again, as you can't see. And there's one hard to reach bolt in there. That one is the, gonna take the longest. And you're just removing that speaker in case you drop stuff again so you can reach it. it out and you can actually just let it hang you just need to be able to reach in here so next I'm gonna go for the bolts in there which are hard to see there's two of them and then the one in there so let's do it anyways y'all when you go for this final one up there it's going to be kind of a doozy. There it is. Here is the other clip. It's back in there. And it's a bit tricky to get out. You see it? So what I'm going to use is a clip to pop it out. If you've got strong hands, you could actually pop it out pretty easily. But I'm going to use a clip. So i got like this clip thing that I'm going to put in there to pop it out. So these ones slide out exactly the same way. Just be careful when you pull out that side, but there's no clip on the, this side. There's no electronic clip. We just got to slide that out. So to put these in, same thing, just this side in first. And then when you're coming through this way, kick the little plastic arm in first, push this head down, and it's in. Now let's do the little pin again, clip that on and then bolt it up and reverse what we did and you guys are done. All right y'all, I have a pro tip for you. I took some of this, I was doing some sound ending to the Subaru, but I took some of the back side of this stuff. It's like a real sticky 3M. You can even use 3M and put it inside here 
that way when you feed these bolts through less chance you're gonna drop them in there and they'll stick all the way through So now just cover this back up. That is that the right one? I think so. Close that. Line this up. Oh, sorry. Line the speaker back up. And here it is y'all, final look around, looks so good, definitely matches having the bright white body color really ties this Jeep together. I think the Overland should have came this way, I don't know why they did so much chrome. Everything's good, hell yeah. Anyways guys, thanks for joining. Drop a subscribe down below. Drop a like. We've got some more stuff coming next week with the WRX. Stay tuned. I'll catch you then. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Peace out.